like this. Attention. Go. Get ready, please. So the Visitors Challenge Cup. It's Leander Club against California Rowing Club. Attention! Oh, as you were, as you were. Wait for it. Attention! Go! Off we go then. California Rowing Club in the white t-shirts that you can see there. Stroke man Andy Holmes closest to the camera and there Leander Club that's George Rossiter in the stroke seat in the red hat and they want to join lots of their club mates in finals tomorrow pressure grows because there's been so much success already well Leander Club have taken an early lead it's quite an extensive early lead as well this early on in the race California Rowing Club will need to be wary of that because Leander Club have put together a fantastic start there that was one of the best starts we've seen this entire regatta Tim although Andy Holmes the stroke of the California crew has won three Henley medals at coming from behind in a few of those but this Leander crew is really pushing out to an early lead very impressive Andy Holmes looks nice and calm there still doesn't he but I don't think he's turned around yet no he may but he is a... moving pretty far from the booms he might be getting steered rather soon and Leander has settled down now what a start that was from Leander club in this semi-final they're the Americans that'll have surprised them won't it the extent of that uh, powerful start from the Ander Club might just unsettled their race plan a bit. Oh, it will have. But in the visitors, we've seen so many steering issues. It's sometimes good to expend the extra energy to get the early lead and just give yourself time to row and not worrying about steering. Yeah. Now, the Leander crew is interesting. In two seat is uh, FC Stevenson, who actually came to rowing through CrossFit. He won a CrossFit rowing competition, and someone picked him up and said, maybe you should try the real thing. Put down the barbells, put down the jumping jacks, and just put an oar in your hand. Yeah, it was three years ago. Finn Stevenson, now 25 years old, made that transition. And he's taken two years off the training in medicine to uh, try to win a Henley medal. Went to the University of St. Andrews as well, and is... Uh, based not too far from here his family live in a village just outside Oxford three seat of uh, Sam Twine is from Reading University and the stroke man George uh, won the ladies play last year so they have experience yeah George Roster who's a rowing coach down the uh, river at Ship Lake College they have the experience this is their home water but there's plenty of experience in the California Rowing Club boat, perhaps not locally, and not on uh, this stretch of water, but they've got uh, class performers. Andy Holmes, we've talked about there. You can see Andy in the wraparound sunglasses, in the white hat, in the stroke seat for California Rowing Club. And he's got bags of Henley experience. And he steers the boat, so he'll know the course. Yeah. Channing Walker, John Madura, and Connor Harity in that boat with him. Now, George Rossiter, his brother, rose in the main men's four. Matt, yeah. Good right. He'll, ra yes, he'll be racing later today and no, tomorrow in the finals of the Stewards. Well, it looks, barring any unforeseen magnetism of the booms, it looks like there'll be another Leander boat in the finals. Against either Edinburgh or Cambridge, who do battle at 2.30 this afternoon in the other semi final of the visitors. Edinburgh having fantastic Henley with two boats on Saturday. Yep, just seen one of them. McQuad in the four. But Leander stretching ahead against California Rowing Club. They now have three lengths, Leander, and going by Remenham, they'll know there's only a minute and a half left to just continue to relax and stretch it out. Stentiford, Stevenson, Twine and Rossiter of Leander will be extremely pleased 
with their work here today in this semi-final. Big ask to uh, knock out California Rowing Club. And they look like they'll do it with aplomb. Yeah, and California's won, well, although differently, this is California Rowing Club, not University of California, which has won yeah. the visitors several times. And in fact, was winning last year until he hit the post and the booms with two strokes to go. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yes. I was on commentary due to that moment, and uh, it was breathtaking. Had to feel. Leander just trying to be mistake-free now for the final bit in front of the stewards. Error free, and they're into the final tomorrow in front of the big grandstand and now moving in front of stewards and towards that finish line thames rowing beat university of california they were the ones that uh, took advantage last year weren't they of university of california's misfortune thames rowing club well luck is the residue of design if you're very close and you cause an accident they get to win the race. Luck is the residue of design. I have to write that down and think about that before I respond. Well, you look at it a different way. The harder I work, the luckier I get. Oh, yes. Was that uh, Lee Trevino, wasn't it? Great quote from the golfer, Lee Trevino. Well, Leander, I haven't needed any luck here. No, fine performance from stroke one. They took command of this race. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. There's another one here, Coach. Oh, gosh. Well, <laughs> I'll have to get my pen and paper out and start to write these down. In front of Stewards now. Here come Leander. Another Leander boat into Sunday finals here at Henry Raw Regatta. Mark Banks, the director of rowing at Leander, must be very happy so far. Yeah. I had a chat with him last night and he said it was all going according to plan so far. Well, it's gone even better today. The Visitors Challenge Cup semi-final winners, Leander Club, beating California Rowing Club of the USA by quite a margin. They had that race wrapped up after an absolutely sensational start up at Temple Island. They won the race early on there and Leander will face either Edinburgh or Cambridge, we all know whom at 2.30 this afternoon in the other semi-final of the visitors. But that star, so that was what that race was all about, wasn't it, Sean? Absolutely it was. There's no need to waste time at the start. You want to get out early. This is how to do it. On the left of your picture, Leander here. I think you described it as the best start of the week so far. Absolutely. They did everything right. Focused. Look at those eyes. They're all focused inside the boat. As soon as those Leander blades are squared, they disappear. You can hardly see the color. They disappear so quickly into the water. Must have been unsettling early for the Americans. They knew they were up against it, but they'd have been surprised at that lung-busting start from Leander. Terrific performance 